Lovely. You just open wide for me. Thank you very much. A visit to the dentist could leave you with a painful hole in your wallet for work that may be completely unnecessary. Our undercover reporter, whose teeth were given a clean bill of health by a dental expert, visited a number of private dentists for a checkup telling them that he had insurance that covered £1,000 worth of essential work. Sayed Reza Manafi was found guilty of serious professional misconduct for performing unnecessary bridge work on a patient. He tells our reporter that he needs to replace all his fillings and insert two porcelain inlays. Total cost, £1,050. Those are two big fillings you have. Right. We will remove all the fillings mm -hmm. to take impression and then to make from noise porcelain. Right. Or okay. porcelain. That's also essential. It, it's, it's essential work because my insurance only covers essential work. Yeah, so I'm right. It is, it is essential. Next, we visited Hamid Mosneb in Oxford, who was found guilty of performing unnecessary root canal treatment. He too proposes to remove all our reporters' fillings as well as fill a new cavity. As I mm -hmm. explained to you, one of them are urgent. The rest of yeah. them are purely because of cosmetic and changes. Right. Are we to give you a breakdown? Yeah, I mean, I can't even for the way essential necessary work. He then offers to get round the restrictions on the dental insurance by writing a treatment plan that claims the work is essential. Yeah, I, I can say they need replacement because of the leakage. Total cost, £500. All six dentists that we visited proposed different work. Only one appeared to get it right. Yeah, what I can't do is replace good things. Right, well, well, I, I, I can't. Oh, right, yeah. Well, yeah it's, it's unethical. Yeah. There's no sign of decay underneath those. For an expert's eye, we went to Dr. Anthony Halperin, who adjudicates in dental disputes. He recommends a scale and polish. That's it. It does cause me concern that two of these dentists did find such a substantial amount of treatment in the mouth, which I was unable to find myself. We asked the two dentists why they'd proposed so much work. Mr. Mosneb insisted he'd only recommended replacing one filling. Mr. Manafi claimed old mercury-based fillings can harm health and should be replaced. We've handed over the evidence from our investigation to the General Dental Council, which polices Britain's 32,000 dentists. The council takes these allegations extremely seriously and it will be considering what action needs to be taken. It says patients need to be able to trust that their dentist is acting in their best interests. Later this week, the Department of Health will reveal plans to clamp down on dentists who carry out unnecessary or poor quality treatment safeguards that many patients will feel are long overdue. Thomas Moore, Sky News.